going to be a little bit gray the rest of the weekend. What we saw today, we're going to keep that uh, those similar conditions into the next couple of days. We've got a couple systems set up for us. So yeah, right now we're feeling that rain. Really, the whole West Coast is feeling this rain. Some mountain snow, but the mountain snow or the snow is going to stay isolated to the mountains the next couple of days into tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's going to stick around. We keep spotty showers, light rain in the forecast through tomorrow. Then heading into midweek, we've got it's looking like an atmospheric river event set up, and that's going to bring some stronger rain chances into the forecast starting Monday night. So right now it's that light widespread rain and that's what brought those gray conditions today. A rain total staying in the tents for the most part, so nothing too bad. And those winds thankfully did calm down. We see a little bit of moderate rainfall right now over I-5 down to the south. Taking a look around South Sound, a little bit of a cell popping up toward Olympia. Uh, that light rain is going to taper off into the next couple of hours and then it's actually looking like overnight will calm down a little bit. We'll dry out most of western Washington will see a very mellow uh, Saturday night for us. But by tomorrow morning, this is showing 8 a.m. We're going to bring back that light rain to the forecast, that mountain snow as well. And light rain sticks in the forecast through most of tomorrow. We could see some sun breaks, not expecting major rain totals, but another gray Sunday in store for us. Then heading into Monday, same thing, Monday morning, spotty light showers. This is 6 a.m. Monday morning, that mountain snow as well. It's not until Tuesday uh, that those rain chances really kick in. So we can see by Monday evening, there it is. We see a little bit more moderate rainfall. It's going to first hit the coast into the Olympic Peninsula. Then by Tuesday morning, it does become more widespread moderate rain uh, for most of Western Washington. So into Tuesday snow levels, though, going to stick to the passes for these first couple of days of this upcoming week, staying above 3000 feet through about Tuesday, not dropping down to 1500 feet until Wednesday. Uh, so not expecting low level snow for us these next couple of days. Temperatures are going to be on the warmer side. So right now we're in the upper 40s. We're starting to cool down as we head into our overnight hours. Uh, lows for tonight, pretty mild for us. We're going to be sitting right around that 40 degree mark. So some areas in the upper 30s tonight, Bremerton looking at 38 degrees for overnight tonight. But most of us will be in those low 40s. And then daytime highs for tomorrow, mid to upper 40s. Could see some 50s on the map. This is pretty close to what we felt today. So what you felt today, we're going to just do it again <laughs> into tomorrow. It's going to be another gray, pretty mild. Sunday. So for Everett tomorrow morning, you'll wake up to those low 40s. You're going to hang out in the 40s. We're going to keep rain in the forecast through most of to tomorrow. Same thing for Seattle, low 40s into those upper 40s, light rain possible through most of the day. And Tacoma, same thing, low 40s to start our day, upper 40s by the afternoon, and we'll keep that light rain in the forecast through most of tomorrow. We'll keep it actually in the forecast through most of the upcoming uh, week for the first half. Tuesday is when we're going to see those strongest chances for rain. It'll take off into Wednesday and then by the end of the week we actually dry out Thursday Friday and into Saturday maybe some spotty light showers but for the most part overall we are going to stay dry so it's a wet first half of the week and a mostly dry but cloudy second half of the week.